now the leaderboard. 19 of 32 day one matches are already in the books. Dilemanente helped lead Pepperdine to the 2021 NCAA title. See on page two, Sam Bennett he had to go 19 holes to win his match. He's out of Texas A&M. Pouge from Spain sneaks in with a one-up win. You're going to be watching Gordon Sargent in his match. He's the reigning NCAA champion out of Vanderbilt. And you can see Travis Vick from Texas is in some trouble against the Australian. Eugene Lin, three up in his match out of the University of Florida and twice a winner of the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship. We'll have two sessions tomorrow. Yeah, a huge missed opportunity on the last. Alex Price missed a short one for par. Can't be giving away holes out here, Cookie. No, you're going to win some with pars on this golf course. Birdies are an absolute bonus, but you can win some holes with par as long as you hang in. Cannot miss this to the left. This one coming in low and right of the hole. Got a big first bounce. Oh, there it is. Very well played. So that's Loved about match play. This one brought in much higher. Needs to spin to the left a little. Oh, but not too much. Hang on right there. There's a slope right there. Just going to hang on. Yeah, barely. Got a couple of birdie putts for Ding and Alex. But green at 17, Ding for birdie. Chance to put a lot of pressure on his opponent, Alex Price. Oh, yes, sir. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> right on cue. Wow, huge putt. Clutch by Alex Price. They're going to head to the last tied up. Although, like you said, he doesn't look like he's 17 years old. Yeah, pressure Ooh. applicator right there. Ooh, Good catch hole. In. Let's go to 19 quickly before that one decides it's not going to go in. And just perfect conditions out here, not a breath of wind. 187 plays downhill six yards. He launches this one way up in the air, pretty much right up the center of the green. Solid shot. Put a little pressure on your opponent. That's so much about match play, Colt. You know that you just target's got to be just splitting. Ding's ball in the hole. Just a little bit of a slope in front of this whole location. This one's right at it if it's enough. It's going to be right underneath the hole. He'll be putting up a little bit of a slope, but both safely on. What a roll that was. What a good Ooh, putt boy. that was. How did that miss? If you give him enough speed, I expect this one to have a, a pretty good chance. But it needs to stretch. It was online. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. Fairway, unlike Ding, 144 pin located on the top shelf or the John Cook shelf. Let's see if he can get it on that shelf. Boy, it's on a good line. Needs to get up a little bit. Oh, stay there. Needs to hold. Fantastic. Easy. All right, got it on the. You don't get too many of those chances, Colt. This should move just a little bit from his right to left. Oh my, didn't move. This to extend. Oh, what nerves. Center cut there, Colt. That from 154 coming up the hill. Got to make sure you get it all the way there. There's a huge gotcha. false front. Pin on middle left. And oh, got great a shot there. It's going to be about 12 feet above the hole. Beautiful shot. Use the slope to slow it down and Another perfect tee shot, but has really been struggling to hit an iron close. That from 136. Cannot miss it to the right here in those bunkers. But from 136, takes on this whole location that needs to slow down. There's a little bit of a fall off right there. And it's going to catch it and continue to feed away. He is going to be away here at the fifth. 
Doesn't have to worry about speed. And did he do it? Oh, oh yeah. finally. What a match. Well played match. Birdie, one of the toughest holes on the golf course to win it. Price three. Ding Tough four. opponent. Ski. Good afternoon, Rich. A moment ago, this was Campbell Kramer here at the par three going up against Josh Hill. And he gets it to go. That was for Birdie. Opponent Josh Hill, still a third to play. Kramer won up in the match. Yeah, nice layup here. Ball slightly above his feet. Back left hole location. Can use some slope. And he does. That'll get behind the hole. It'll get better and better. Really well played shot. That's going to put pressure on Hill as we had at 17, third for Josh Hill. Can also use the slope to the right. Feeds the ball down to that left hole location. You can't miss it left. That's got a hole, hole down. That could get off the side of the green. And with Kramer in close and being one up, Hill in a bit of trouble. Now a little bit of movement to it. And it's got some speed. Okay. Job, job done. He'll move on. One of the Seinfeld group. <laughs> Head up to 17. This is Travis Vick, uh, Travis Vick. Long par putt. Smiley Kaufman watching, and he's in big trouble, Smiley. Well, that's just a wasted opportunity for Travis Vick there at the par five. They'll shake hands. Yeah, that's a bit of a surprise. Vic making a run all the way to the semifinals a year ago at Oakmont. McKinney won the first three holes today in this match. Never looked back, moves on to the round of 32. This is a tricky little shot with a right hole location. It's going to have to put a bunch of speed on this. From what I've seen, this is kind of the strength of this game, these little type of pitch shots. Going to have to take a lot of nerve to get close to this hole location. Yeah, you've got beautiful hands. Good little wedge player. Just it's all about the contact here, Smiley. Little check and hold, and pretty well done. So Castillo is going to have a chance to save his par there. Very big opportunity to get this one in the hole and uh, make Ricky make here. Just a little bit left to right. Yeah, one of the things about match play, I always went about my business is not give away the threes and stay away from three putts, and that one's not in. All of a sudden, Castillo has this for par to win the hole and go two up. Yeah, how about this having a chance to win the hole now? Just just a little bit no. right to left. Needs a break. No, Easy. He, he, he's not in yet. That is definitely bring your coin territory. Mm -hmm. That was kind of. And now this for Bogey Castillo to remain one up. No problem there. 60 yards. Gonna have to find one on the back of the green here. Second rate amateur in the world. What a really good line. And this is all he wanted. Now this should get a little bit better if it doesn't go all the way through. Just off that back edge, but it's a good lead. Big Aberg just over the green here at the par five. Yeah, just wants to dump it on the green. There's a big slope that goes down right there, and that is pretty well done out of that lie. He'll have an uphill putt. Stilio for birdie at 17 to tie. Must make. A little right to left here, downhill. Got to keep the speed up. I think he got it started left with his line there, Smiley. Castillo five. Eight. Here, Cookie. We saw really nice out. flight, needs a cut. We saw Alex going to find that bunker, gonna, I think. Yeah, you don't want in that left bunker. Or that, yeah, the left bunker, short pin, just depends on the lie. He just got to get it back into play here. And he misses, got to be up the right side here, smiling with his opponent in that left bunker. He's just looking, he's looking for angles now. Yep, right back in the fairway, good shot. And already, Cookie, we're seeing. Find one to get one to about inside of 10 feet. Anything right will kick, kick it and funnel it back to the hole left. He hit a good shot back on there. On a nice line, 16. needs to sit down. It does, a little check Beauty. and hold. Beautiful shot there, Smiley. And one you can get up and down here. Good sound, but hit very chunky. Oh. That was Cardinal Sin right there. Hit that pretty quick, and that was not good contact. And boy, is he just giving this hole away. Ricky Castillo, just two putts, and just cozy this down and move on. Okay, uses it all. Only there it needs is. one, and Ricky Castillo, University of Florida, he is on to the round of 32, beating the second ranked amateur of the world, Ludwig Aberg. 12th hole, Mark Power having a go at it. 
He's taken a go at this. Ball Walker Isley's already laid the ball, ball right. up in position. Hole right there. Tough hole location. This little tiny hole is called the five and dime. We'll explain that in a little bit, but tricky little golf hole. And a ribbon of the green, only 22. This is power. He needs to get going. He's in a big hole. But goes back up the slope and okay. right in the center. Give me the shovel. We're going to start digging our way out. So it's against Mark Power. Oh, that's good. Mm. Golden opportunity right there. He can't let these guys up for it. Little ray of light from the last hole. See if he can capitalize on this chance. Now, Isley to win his match against Mark Power. Yeah, we finally well seen that, <laughs> that putt made first time. Walker Isley out of UNC Wilmington he is on to the round of 32 with a three and two victory. Good players. All pretty good players <laughs> and all, some tournament wins in that, that, that group there. Newman to roll this in for birdie at 17. Hello, Newman. Uh, right on. Any rules situations that may come up? Yeah, just a little two putt there to head to uh, extras here. We got more golf. Right. Newman and Lagoo. Right, Shea Lagoo here at the first hole. It's the 19th. Wedge on the way. Want to leave this short of the hole here. Oh, he flew it a little bit too deep. Doesn't catch that slope there, Smiley. It's Championship. Great lie from the rough here for Hazen and a good angle. Needs to get down just a little bit. Oh, yeah, beauty. Hazen Newman took advantage of that angle over the least down there. Hazen Newman. Super fast putt here. Just breaking a little to the left. No, I didn't hit it. Never quite had the energy. Go. Right in the center. Beautiful. That's pure. 138 yards to this back left hole location. Not a great lie. Got to get on the get up. Yeah, Got to get on the proper shelf here, Smiley. Oh, what a shot here, Cook! Catches that slope and s just kind of speeds across the green. Kind of a bad break there. Newman at the third. Yeah, only 126 yards here. It, this back hole location, there's plenty of room right of it, but anything short left of it will spin off of the green. So just got to make sure you hit that spot. Hazen has to know what his opponent just did. Shea Legu's shot went across the green into that bunker. Needed to get it up on that proper level and doesn't do it. Now that is a difficult two putt from there. Yeah, there, his playing partner is off the green. He's actually not even that good of a spot. So he's not, he's not dead if he makes six. Good effort there, but a mistake on that third. Oh, this is so good. Really well played. We'll have that putt now to win the match. Catches the left side of the hole. There's your winner. He will move on. Yeah, Shea Legoo getting the job done. Extra holes. California kid playing well at a U.S. Amateur in New Jersey. Just to get to just two down. You're going to see... Holes win one with pars yeah. numerous times on this golf course. Yushin Lin. Found as a birdie putt. That feet let the slope contain the ball, feed it to the left. Cannot miss this to the left. Get up a little, there's that little slope, and it just put a ton of spin on that to hold it right there. In third for Yushin Lin, just short of the green. In the driver's seat here, just wants to get it right at this hole location. Oh, he flew it too far, and that is a bad mistake with a two-up lead. A moment ago, Peter Fountain had this for birdie to move on to the 18th. Absolute must-make here, Burko, and he does. Big spot. Steps up. They head to 18. From China, Yushin Lin. 
Oh, yes, he gets it done. Yes, catching that left side of the hole as you see a little bit of rain coming down, so he's happy to be off the golf course. During the world, wonderful approach, this for birdie, and the man who's headed back to Texas A&M for one more year, pumped up, moving on to the round of 32 here in New Jersey. And Burton to tie. Well, we have not seen by. that putt made at all. We're in Varadin. Team Varadin for par to extend the match. Big breaker, a lot of speed here. Needs to break and just by the hole. And oh, don't give away the fives. Don't make bogeys on the fives. So Justin Bewer, sophomore at Colorado. He's going to move on with the win. Oh, and Averett now here at 15. One of the seven Oregon Ducks to make this championship. Not bad for head coach Casey Martin, Averett, and good command of this one. Three up in the match. Over at 15, Owen Averett, this for par to tie the hole, remain three up against Rasmus Nearguard Peterson, and he does just that. Averett has this to win the match. To move on, and he does. Oregon Duck. Ball is tied with fours. Mr. Averitt wins the match three and two. Is that ever disappointing? Yeah, that is shocking. Josh Gliggy wins it one up. And that big lead, let it all get away. Very disappointing, but. Thirty to win the hole, go one up in the match. Oh, it's such a nice tee shot in here. And he says, bring your coin. Trulio, short one for par to tie the hole. How about that three putt from short range? I mean, Johnny had about Gift. three and a half feet to win the hole. Gifts. be able to control trajectory and spin out of the rough. It's hard to do and miss it to the right short side. It's a prime position right here for the center of the fairway, right hole location. And he says nice swing underneath the hole. He's strong for 15. He looks strong. Yeah, he's put together. <laughs> Mr. O'Mara. Couple of par putts here at the 16. This is bizarre. He just conceded that par putt to Nicholas Gross. Cohen, Cohen had it in the bunker. Just kind of got on tilt the wrong way. I think Cohen kind of gave this one away a little bit. He had less than four feet to win the 15th, loses the hole, and in 30 minutes, he's lost the match. Yeah. Over at 15, Luke Potter, second to play, Tracer Technology, brought to you by Lexus, the official vehicle of the USGA. Yeah, beautiful little golf hole right here. Cannot miss it to the left, right there, and long. Over to 15, Nicholas Cassidy, couple of putts to win the hole, already one up against Luke Potter. We saw his tee shot end up in the bunker. This should be a formality. It is, so the Georgia Bulldog. Two up, three to go. The opponent still has a birdie putt. Cassidy currently two up in the match, and I think that's going to be cut in half. Mm, golden opportunity right there. I've seen this putt a little bit. It breaks a little left, right to left, and it's got some speed. Kind of whipped it right through the break, and we're going to go to the 19th. Luke Potter at the first hole, 19th in this match. Cassidy about 20 feet away already. Let's see if he can control the spin here, and he does. Uses that little bit of a slope. Well done. Can't hide the flag stick from that young man. Saw that nice approach from Luke. 
Hanson. Three, four. Match Potter play fist pump. Potter Come on. Potter's on to the round of 32. We said he had a birdie effort. It was always going to be a bit of a challenge, especially considering the hole out by Von Lasso. So a bit of a surprise here. Andrew Von Lasso from Spokane, Washington, two up. Get <laughs> knows. Here's Andrew Von Lasso, Spokane, Washington. Has to go three up on one of the pre-tourney oh, yeah. favorites. I mean, Michael Thor Bjornsson. Thor Bjornsson finished solo fourth not long ago at a PGA Tour event, the Travelers. Favorites to win it all. All right, good one. Now over at 15, this is Andrew Von Lasso to win the match. The 34-year-old from Washington State trying to take down one of the best amateurs in the world. It's good. Had a chance there. Michael Thor Bjornsson is uh, in trouble. In trouble. And Lasso has this for birdie to win the match. This will be the, the upset of the day. And there he goes. Big man from Washington. Burko mentioned 34. Looks like he split some lumber. And he did take down one of the big boys today, Michael Thor Bjornsson, who actually played the U.S. Open at the Country Club. And finished fourth at the Travelers. So. Ford Clegg has this to win the hole, going up against Gordon Sargent, the NCAA individual champ from Vanderbilt. Took care of that. Yeah, just four paces in front of this whole location and five behind it. Get up. Oh, this is going to catch that slope to the right. Oh, stays up top. Pretty well done, though. <laughs> Yeah. right in the center. What a match we have right here. That's a good one. All SEC battle. Clegg, Mississippi State, Sergeant Vanderbilt. They're tied. Hasn't started his sophomore season at Vanderbilt, so he's just a youngster. That one flew by my head so fast I lost it. It's up the right. Going to need a break. Got over into an adjoining fairway. He'll have a decent lie, but we'll have to wait. And if see it's if in he... the fairway, he's got a perfect angle, actually. A absolutely. It's a difficult pitch shot from anywhere left, so they sure have talked about it. Draw. That's it. Catch a part of the right side of the green. Just get through. Can I come oh, back I think it's going to work its way back a little All bit. Right. That's pretty good play from there. Yeah. Doesn't want to overcook this because that left bunker is no good. He's got this one drawn just right of the hole. Oh, that is so good from there. Taking advantage of a great break. Mark a difference in pace of play with these two players. One slam the door shut right here. Absolutely. He doesn't want to go extra holes. Neither do I. Needs to turn a little bit. Good effort. Good aggressive putt. Solid. Yeah. Is it ever? Just like you said, Coley stayed nice and down on that. Didn't peak. Tell you what, that was pretty impressive right there. That was. No, not this one. No. Good putt, Mark. I would even give that putt. The seventh. This one needs to bounce a little bit. Oh, this is just so well done from there. Really well done. He's really showed some some uh, touch on some really different. Oh, this has got to go. This isn't going to be inside Sargent's ball. Yeah, that was. I had to give that more of a run. Good work right there. Time to put this thing to bed. He does not want this to go any further than this. Aggressive putt up oh and out of it. Oh, my goodness. And he hammered it. 
I did not expect that. Evan has had several opportunities to close this thing out. He went kind of choked down on that three wheel. Oh boy, this is headed right. This is no good at all. See where his mind is at. A little frustration. Just drop down. Shouldn't have any tree trouble. Just depends on the lie. Plenty of power to get it there. He's got the this shot. one very high. It's just right of the hole. And landed, looked like short of the bunker. Short of the bunker, bounced in the bunker. Now faced with a long bunker shot over a couple tiers. That was not a very good leave. 18, one of the worst lies I've seen all week. Gonna have to muscle this out. Oh boy, this one is coming out diving left. Caught that slope, it's gonna shoot across the green. Stay short of that bunker though. Seven feet for a par. He tried to play the aggressive one, scooped it. Now he's got 35 feet coming up the, up the slope and basically needs a miracle if he wants this match to extend to the fourth. Yeah, they had to get it on the proper level at all costs, whether you hit it 10 feet by or, like you said, out to the left 10 feet. He's hit four poor shots on this hole, see if he can hit a great one. Wander left. It is. Ford Clegg moves out. Sergeant six. Clegg five. Clegg wins the match at 21 holes. Garrett Woods, uh, two putt par was conceded, and this will be to win the hole. And in the last probably 30 minutes, we've had a downpour of rain, and now the sun is out, and it's probably 15 degrees warmer. I've uh, definitely got the sunglasses back out. This one right here is a downhill putt moving to his left, very makeable. Christo with plenty of length to reach the par 517. This to go one up. Yeah. Easy now. It's conceded. It is conceded. Tall as he is, he just does not waste it at all. Good, Little club twirl. Just be good. Asking it for to be good. Oh, right look at this, line. guys. Look Go out. in. Look out. What a shot from Christo right there. Well, Lamprecht arriving to the golf ball. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we understood that Garrett Wood was going to say, you're good. Heck of a three. To the fairway at these USGA championships is the tallest rough on the golf course. See, there's no intermediate cut, just a tall cut. Has to play it out to the right, squirt it to the right. That will be difficult. They're gonna try to land this probably five, six yards short of the screen, hoping that it'll bounce up. Trying to dig out a four, extend this match. Yeah, no, did, came out slow. Didn't come out at all. Yeah, really bad lie here, but an up and down will get easily win the match for him. Tries to take it way up in the air. There's a big slope right there, and this is really a pretty good shot. Five that still might be good enough. Now this to finish it off. Yeah, hats that should, are off. That's it. That will be conceded, and Christo will move on. Lamprecht wins one up. A lot going on in that brain. Over at 15, this is Derek Hitchner from Pepperdine. He's got this for par. He's one up in the match against Adrian Dumont de Chassart from Belgium and plays his college golf at Illinois. Adrian still has a birdie putt remaining, so Hitchner in a bit of trouble here. Heading back to Pepperdine for his fifth season. You know, head coach Michael Beard, happy about that. Coach Beard on his bag this week. Wow. Pretty good effort. Or got, Adrian as well. Got a little pipeline to Belgium. It worked. <laughs> Keep it going. Two putts to win the hole and does a pretty good job of that. Nice speed. Yeah. So that match tied up, headed over to 16. A little left to rider. All right, solid stroke will go to 18. Another one tied up. 
We've seen this all day long, Cookie. We haven't seen anybody in the fairway at 18. I know it's a hard fairway to hit. Left to right hole, right to left slope. Cannot miss it left, though. Short side. This sounded really good. It's heading a little left. It needs to get up. And can not do that. It's one you just land just short right and hoping you just get that number right and control that spin. He knows that he got uh, a little bit of a break, maybe a little energy boost. Don't his opponent is in oh, yeah. bad what position and he takes advantage of that. He called it absolutely correctly there, Smiley. Yeah, this ball's sitting very high in the rough. You got to keep the speed up or he's going to leave short. Kind of went underneath it, just like you said there, Smiley. Not bad, but boy, what a mistake from the fairway. Pours it in, good putt. All right, now heat on Dumont de Chassart. With pace. To extend the match, up mm. and out of it. Two good players right there. That was another good match to watch. Went right down to the wire. Derek Hitchner from Pepperdine, originally from Minnesota. Biondi. Ready to go. Big breaker right to left. And thank, thank he, you, coach. He listened to his assist, his coach, Dudley Hart. Not Dudley's first rodeo around these was. <laughs> Real good player. Pretty good breaker right to left. Keep the speed up, and he did. Pours it right in the center. Two holes in a row for Fred Biondi. All right, Frankie Sappen back at 16. Ouch. Ball way above his feet. Ball could go anywhere, and it did. Right. Thank you, Smiley. Well done. And now Frankie Sappen. Biondi's already in the birdie look. Wow. How about that? That was his fourth. He knew he had to jar that one. One team, par five on the green. Fred Biondi's got this for birdie. To win the match, his opponent, Frank, Frankie Sappen, already in with his par. Hallmark, maybe? Yeah. What do you think of that? Biondi with a big birdie putt at 14, another Huge par putt at 15. This is to close things out. Does move right to left. He's got some speed. Oh. Beyond D5. Stopping four. Match is tied. Left trees. Has to have some sort of an opening. Also try to squirt it up there to the front right part of the green and won't be the easiest little pitch shot. He's going to have to come up a little bit of a slope. Not a very good angle here. Take it right. Watch out. Oh boy. Yeah, that's going to gather back down off the green into the rough. That was a that's a bad mistake there for uh, Frankie. Let me see this less than 20 feet. Excuse me. Down the hill that and really is... quick and. Gave it that respect. That's all he needed. That's it. So Fred Biondi from Brazil. With his first mate, he could Chesky. Snowberger missed the green. Started a little bit left of the hole location. Use a little bit of the slope, and he does just that. Yeah. Right at hole high. Nice shot. Battling back from yeah. four down. That's for pars. He drove it out of play. and. I would imagine this would be a concede. And he does, so Gucheski match is tied. Three. Luke Gucheski. 58 yards. Front left hole location. Let's try to take it to the right, maybe use a little bit of the slope. <coughs> Safe place, center of the green. Yeah, he's got 151 yards, and he can try to attack here. This one's just moving a little bit left and it needs to get up just a little bit. Yeah, you got to watch out. Controls the spin. Nice shot. Got a nice level. That's very makeable. Down the hill. Breaks a little to the left and that picks up speed. And yeah, that will. He'll put have to put a mark on that. So I give it a little bit of speed, John. I mean, I'm, 
I know uh, putts that aren't too far outside of the hole from 20 feet. These guys are really good. They're going to have a chance to make it. Yeah. Wants to put a good roll on this. Gordon Sargent just had the same putt. Goes a little left and back to the right. Did he bury it? Oh, maybe carried just a hair too much speed, but now we got a couple three-footers. Both have played really well throughout the match, and it's probably uh, extra holes is deserved. Kind of crept one in on the last Good hole. Day. That one caught, found the center of the hole, and they'll move on to the 19th hole. I'm going to have to take a big swing at this. Oh, this was really well judged from that lie. about that shot? Kept it below the hole even better. Feet short of it. Just try to keep it short of this hole. Yeah, kind of tugged it. And a little bit past, but good shot. Two gotta good be, opportunities. Got to be a quick putt. Straight up the hill. Just got to keep that speed up. Very makeable. Leaks to the right when it slows down. Oh, man. Just hard to believe that didn't catch a piece and go in. This is so fast. It's creeping. Mm. Stayed oh, it's straight. Gotta sit. Yeah, that's going to wander by a good three feet. Let's play from a putt to win now, a putt to extend. Got right in there and walked it right in, smiley like yeah. it was nothing. Showing some moxie. Still up here right now. There's just no wind at all. Get it to that back section. Trying to come back a little to the left. Needs to get up. Mm. Oh, that's plugged. Front bunker plugged. He's going to get the job for him, or job done for him here. Just needs a good swing here. It sounded really good. Heading a little bit to the left and needs to get down. Kind of pulled it. It did. And got it on the right level. I don't think he's got too much of a slope to contend with. It's kind of gathering towards the center of the green, but. You can get up and down. It's not the worst plug lie I've ever seen. Right. The problem is that it's a little bit on the upslip and you got to remain steep out of a plug lie. Yeah, he's got room to work with. Kind of chunk and run it up there. Pretty well done. This goes up a little bit of a slope to start right there. He's got to go. He's going to have to putt that. Pretty good right to left breaker. He hit it. Wow. That's it. Snowberger wins. He outlasts one of the co medalists, Luke Kaczewski. A couple of co medalists gone. Yeah, Torbjornsson and now Kaczewski.